Now, you are about to hear the first message ever sent by humanity to extraterrestrial civilizations. This audio is the famous Arecibo message, formulated by American astronomers Frank Drake and Carl Sagan in 1974. It consists of an encrypted message containing human DNA, atomic numbers, and Earth's location, and it was transmitted using the Arecibo radio telescope towards the M13 globular cluster, which is located 25,000 light years away from Earth. The M13 cluster is densely populated with stars, with over 300,000 stars within a radius of approximately 145 light years. According to the Copernican principle, Earth is not particularly special in the universe, it's just an ordinary rocky planet within an ordinary star system in the Milky Way galaxy. Since human civilization has evolved, it implies that the universe must be teeming with even more complex and diverse forms of life. Therefore, Drake, Sagan, and others believe that the probability of extraterrestrial civilizations existing in the M13 cluster is quite high. The image you are currently seeing is a visualization of the 1,679 binary codes from the Arecibo message arranged in 73 rows. Since the signal was transmitted in the form of electromagnetic waves, we don't actually see this image as it appears here. Suppose extraterrestrial beings could receive this message. In that case, the first thing they would need to do is rearrange this signal, and they would find that the number 1679 has factors of 73 and 23. By multiplying 73 by 23 or 23 by 73 and arranging the matrix accordingly, they would obtain these two images. From our intuitive perspective, the image resulting from 23 multiplied by 73 is more easily understood. If extraterrestrial beings are intelligent enough, after some time of analysis, they would realize that the matrix resulting from 73 multiplied by 23 contains no meaningful information. Therefore, they would consider the matrix from 23 multiplied by 73 to be the correct answer. This binary encoded image is primarily divided into seven sections. However, since the image itself lacks color, colors have been added to facilitate the interpretation of its meaning, with the final row of each color serving as a label with no specific significance. Next, converting the binary in the image to decimal, we can see that the first section represents numbers from 1 to 10, signifying human civilization, which uses decimal counting. The second section represents the five chemical elements contained in human DNA. By decoding, we can extract numbers 1, 6, 7, 8, and 15, which correspond to the atomic numbers of hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus, the essential elements for life on Earth. However, it's uncertain whether extraterrestrial beings also follow the same periodic table. The third section represents nucleotides in human DNA, with each of the four rows of encoding representing the basic structure of human DNA. The green areas are single numbers, such as the first group of numbers, 7, 5, 0, 0. By rearranging them according to the second group of numbers, we get the chemical formula for oxygen. These 12 green areas represent 12 chemical formulas related to genes. The fourth section represents the double helix structure of human DNA. Analyzing the middle area and converting it to decimal, we obtain a number, this data is up to 1974 and represents that the human genome contains 4.3 billion base pairs, although this number is now known to be 3.2 billion. The fifth section represents human data, with the red area depicting the shape of a human body. The white area on the left, when decoded, results in the number 14, which, when multiplied by the signal's wavelength of 126 mm, gives us 1764 mm, representing the average height of American males at that time. The blue part is used as a scale, and the white area on the right, when decoded, represents the Earth's population at the time, which was 4.3 billion. The sixth section represents the solar system, from left to right, the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Earth's position is elevated by one, indicating that the signal was set from here. The final section represents the Arecibo radio telescope that transmitted the signal. The M represents the telescope's curved mirror's white area, and when decoded, the number 2430 multiplied by the signal's wavelength of 126 mm gives a telescope diameter of 306.18 meters. The blue area is used as a telescope symbol. We have now fully decoded the Arecibo message. Before this signal was sent, many scientists opposed it, fearing that sending information related to Earth into outer space could place humanity in a dangerous situation. However, some argue that extraterrestrial beings who have never encountered Earth and human civilization might not be able to decipher it. Even if the signal reaches the M13 cluster and is indeed received by extraterrestrial beings who respond, we would have to wait 50,000 years to receive that reply. It leaves us wondering how advanced human civilization will have become by then.